Hey, what's up guys? I'm Linux here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So in today's Unity tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually do simple character conversations in Unity. Now, as you can see here, I've got this alien creature here, which we're going to get our player object over here to talk to. I've already actually got a script, and in fact I've already got the whole thing made up because I was trying to record before and there was actually something wrong with the script and I just had to fix it up and now I've got to restart the recording again, so yeah. Anyways, if you guys do enjoy this tutorial and you do find it does help you out a lot, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more. And yeah, let's get right into it. So first up, there are some things that you want to make sure you do first before you uh, do get into script and stuff. So first off, uh, what you want to do for both the player and the and the character is you want to add just empty game objects to them, right? Just inside of the character and call it like a transform. So for example, here I've got alien transform and then I've got player transform. And the reason to why I have this is because when our player speaks to the character, I want our character to look at the player's transform, like their, um, you know, the thing inside of them. Because there can be this uh, weird thing, right? Like, let's say, for example, where you might have your character try to look at another character, right, in script. Uh, if they're not level-headed, then transforms, right? Like the empty game objects. Well, then what's going to happen is it'll cause this weird effect where you'll have, like, your character, like, they might be just fully, like, turned, like, a uh, hold on, I'm just going to rotate it, like this or something, looking down at your transform, or sometimes if your player's taller, they'll be like this, looking up at your transform, and you don't want that at all, you just want them, like, looking straight, or just like that, if you, depending on where you're standing, you don't want them, like, doing this or anything like that, just to look up at you, so yeah. So yeah, make sure you have these transforms here. And then uh, another thing you want to do too is with your uh, character, you want to make sure that you have like a, a box collider or something. So then when your player goes to talk to them, uh, their camera collider will collide with the character collider here. And you also want to have a rigid body on that and um, make sure it's not a trigger either, just a normal one. Because the camera collider will be a trigger, this won't be. And then you want to have a rigid body attached to this as well. And this here is the script, but we'll get onto that later on. So as I was mentioning before with the camera, you want to make sure that you have a camera collider on there. Or just a box collider. I mean, but yeah, you just add a box collider or something onto there and then that acts as like a collider for the camera so then when you look at the character and this here collides with the character you'll then get a prompt to speak with the character and yeah and then over here I've actually got my dialogue my free uh, dialogue bits because we're going to be doing randomized audio in this randomized dialogue so basically um, I'll show you guys how that works in the script soon and then also something else you want as well is another transform that your uh, character that you're talking to will look at after you speak to the player because what will happen is if you don't have something like this right for your character to look at after you've spoken to them, um, they'll just continue looking in the direction where they last looked at you. And yeah, that can be a bit like weird sometimes, also depending on like a... Uh, how the transforms are and stuff like that as well like your character might just end up looking up at like you know you got you guys have already seen the example before where you just look up like this or something or down like this don't really want that so yeah all right so i think that might be it for the in-game stuff if not i will uh get to it like get back to it but for now i actually want to go into the script and talk about the script oh something else you want to have too is um a bit of text here which will act as a prompt that will pop up when you talk to the character so for example I've just got a simple bit of text here which says E to talk so you just want to do something like that and now let's get into the script so here we have it and I'm going to explain uh, what each thing does here so first up we have all like our variables and stuff like that so we've got like a bunch of transforms now what this is is it's for a uh, just our player and like character to look at each other and stuff so we've got the player transform for the character to look at then we've got the speaker transform so then you know they can look at the player and then we've got the thing called the speaker look now what this is is this is what the uh character looks at after they speak to the player 
Then we've got the camera transform, which will be used to look at the speaker's head, which is the next one right here, which is the speaker's head. So then the camera can look at it. And then here we have our free dialogue options. Then we have our prompt that will show up. Then we have the player script. Then we have the camera's collider. And then we have floats here for the uh, talking time of each dialogue. So on trigger stay, so uh, when the camera collider, right? So when the collider, which is tagged as the main camera, which is our camera collider, when that is staying in the trigger, you'll have a prompt pop up. And then once you press E, uh, a bunch of stuff will happen. So your character will look at your player, your camera will look at the um, character's head, your prompt will turn off, your player script will turn off, then your camera collider will turn off. And then what will happen here is we have this variable just called number and it will pick, and it will pick between a random range of one to three. And so basically if the number equals to one of these three numbers, one of the three dialogues will play. And this will also start a coroutine as well for that speech. And then here we have on trigger exit, which basically uh, once the camera collider exits the trigger of the character, so let's say, for example, you look away from them, well, then the prompt to speak to them will go away. And then here we have our uh, I enumerators for the speeches. So here we have yield return new wait for seconds, which means that after this amount of time in here, the talk time one, what will happen is the speaker will look at the speaker look transform and then the player script will be turned on and then so will the camera collider and then the same thing basically happens down here so that's how the script works if you're looking for a good explanation there and yeah so now how about we uh actually put it to use now <clears throat> So here we have it now. We already pretty much have everything in here. You can drag everything you want to in here. So basically, um, yeah, just look at the names of everything and uh, just look at like my stuff here too. You can pause it if you want. So then you can know what you need to add into each area of the script. And so, yeah, now how about we actually uh, try this out and see if it works. And if we need to change anything, then I happily will. Alrighty. And yeah, it works by the looks of things. Now let's speak. And um, also, I'm not sure if like a sound is on at the moment. Not sure. If not, then um. Hi, welcome to Scribel, our planet. The Amortis has been in control of our planet for a couple of years. Alright, so as you guys can hear the there, um, um, the character is now world. speaking. Maybe you could help us. And then after the character is done talking, yeah, that's it. Hi, and for some reason, the character's planet. actually not the looking at the player for some reason. I, I might have to fix that up. Hold on, guys. There's probably something here that uh, I need to fix up. All right, so instead of uh, using the character transform, instead I'm just going to use the whole character itself, since the actual transform of the character does look like it's uh, about at the same place as the player transform that I have here, so yeah. Anyways, let's see how this works, and uh, hopefully it works, like how intended. So just to test it, I'll walk over here and see if he looks at me. Hello, fill life form. And as you just heard, he spoke. We'll, we'll try again. Hi, welcome to Scribel, our planet. The Amortis has been in control of our planet for a couple weeks now. I have heard they want to enslave us back on their home world. Maybe you could help us? So yeah, basically, um, as you can hear, uh, every time you speak to it, you get a randomized voice line, one of the free voice lines we chose. Well, this one's the same one from before, but of course, sometimes you will get the same voice lines from before, but there will be other times when you just do get random ones. And yeah, that one again is the same one, third one in a row. But yeah, guys, anyways, that is the end of this video. Um, If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. That there is a simple tutorial basically on how to do uh, character conversations in Unity, just very simple ones where you go up to a character and you speak to them and then they say something random. But yeah, so again guys, if you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye